four affordable North Texas cities are booming with homes under 500,000. Let's talk about it. Now, would you say 500,000 is affordable? That's going to be another question, right? It's going to be another question. But this is for those who are moving to the area. Maybe you're buying or selling or just interested in moving to the DFW Metroplex. Well, now you're going to have an idea on why prices are the way they are. Let's say you're going to move into one of these specific cities that we touch on. Well, you may have competition. You may have less competition. It's just different markets are going to bring different opportunities. So in these reports, this is done by Culture Map. Uh, that's the company who did this article. Um, I just like to show you and illustrate you kind of like, all right, this is why the area is growing. I, I have a lot of clients who um, assume that the market is going to drop a lot more than it is, or we have some that don't feel the market has dropped more than it is. You know, so when you combine this with interest rates dropping, when you combine this with inventory doubling, it does bring opportunity. But then when you see other articles like this, it kind of illustrates the macro data as far as Okay, just because prices are going down, just because interest rates are going down, doesn't mean that the market is just going to to be a dump, right? There's so many people and so many so much opportunity coming to this area, whether that be in Bedford, whether that be in Flower Mound, you know, more cities around our area, the whole entire DFW Metroplex are really being spotlight or being put in the spotlight by um, large articles or large companies that are, are moving their whole entire profile to these areas so yeah let's touch on these topics or let's touch on these uh, these areas if you have questions about anything regarding real estate in the dfw metroplex or austin texas uh, feel free to shoot me a text or give me a call my name is trevon i work with century 21 mike bowman out in dfw but i also do work in austin as well but yeah let's dive right into this article so starting here dallas fort worth suburbs have been soaring in popularity in 2024. As more residents escape the bigger cities, now four more North Texas neighbors, Louisville, Waxahachie, Midlothian, and Wiley are earning accolades on a new list of the top 50 most affordable housing markets for homes under 500,000. Now, I'll be honest, I, when I started real estate, I definitely felt that under, or under 350,000 was affordable, right? Under 300 was affordable. Now you can still find some pockets where you're finding homes under this and, and you can find homes that look great. Now, they're going to be in areas that are going through changes, but there is, still is opportunity. So if you are someone that is looking for a home under you know, 300, they do make those homes out there in this world. But yes, you, you will have to be flexible. Okay, so this study by personal finance website, Go Rankings. I'm sorry, go banking rankings, go banking rates, evaluated the two-year numerical and percent change in total population for all U.S. cities with a population between 25,000 and 200,000. Cities were ranked based on the two defining characteristics, a 9% or more change in population from 2020 to 2022, and cities whom, in cities whose home values fell below 500,000 as of July 2024. All right, so the first one we're going to touch on is Louisville. So Louisville is ranked number 11 out of the 50 cities in this report. Um, with home values around 410000 as of July 2024, a suburb is situated between Dallas and Fort Worth and is conveniently north of Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. And, and here's uh, where Louisville is right here. So Louisville, Flower Mound, that's in the top 40 for uh, upcoming growing markets so that's right underneath Flo 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 uh right underneath Louisville. so let's say that you're someone that's living in flower mound or you want to live in flower mound or close to flower mound but you can't afford it you go to Louisville. you know what i'm saying that's going to be the same with highland village it's going to be the same with the colony um, it's going to be the same with this grapevine area as well so or i'm sorry coppell area as well which coppell is pretty pricey pretty pricey also good uh good schools so it's a very, very good location. I mean, it, it's right in the center of it all. You know, you're not too far from from really anything. And then you're still close to two lakes as well. So uh, lots of things to do and lots of potential still in Louisville. And it's crazy because when I was growing up, that was not the case. Or at least from my perspective, that was not the case as someone who lived in, a, in Keller. Um, so yeah, the city's population grew 16% from 2020 
2022 from 170, 107,000 to 125,000 residents. The city's steady growth rate has simultaneously brought more development to the area, including a new coffee shop, including new coffee shops, discount bin stores, and even eight new dining options at the realm at the Castle Hills. So lots of growth going on in Louisville. So if you're someone who's trying to sell, maybe it is a good opportunity as you know that you are in a top market and maybe you know to hold firm, right? And if you're a buyer, maybe you know, okay, this is an area that may have more competition for me as a buyer. Sellers may hold firm a little more, but it's all gonna depend, you know what I mean? All gonna depend on sellers' goals when they bought that home. Because there's there's a lot of lot of sellers with with a chunk of equity um, since they bought before 2019, 2020, you know what I mean? All right, the next city we will touch over is going to be Waxahachie. So I'll show you where Waxahachie is. Waxahachie. Let's back out of here a little bit. So Waxahachie is going to be uh, near Midlothian, south of Dallas, more or less. So, you know, south of Cedar Hill, south of Red Oak. More rule. That's what I'll say. More rule. So you're going to have some nice houses out there in those, uh, in those uh, like, wooded areas. So located 60 miles south in the opposite direction of Louisville is Waxahachie, which landed at number 20 on the list, which, with home values in the city adding up to around 363000 Waxahachie is the most affordable North Texas suburb in the report. The city's population grew 13% from 2020 to, four, to 41,000 residents in 2022, the report found. Waxahachie's nickname as the Crepe Myrtle Capital of Texas has earned thanks to the city's beautiful scenery and annual Crepe Myrtle Festival, where tourists and residents from all over North Texas flock to see the fully bloomed trees in the summer. I've actually never been, so that would be something I should probably try to do. I need to get out more. The charm of the historic homes and building brings thousands of visitors to the city each year, the Waxahachie Convention and Visitors Bureau website says. While here, visitors enjoy numerous unique shopping opportunities, including antiques, specialty shops, and boutiques. Yeah, it looks like it could be a beautiful, beautiful area. Next on the list is going to be Midlothian, which Midlothian is right next to Waxahachie. And, and by this, I want you to put in perspective, right? Top growing markets, top 20, it's in the top 20 in, the, in America. Okay, it's all the way south. Markets are right here, already established. You know what I mean? There, there's not much space to continue to build, right? Tons of space out here to build in Midlothian next to a city in the top 50 Midlothian. I'll, pre I'll reveal the numbers shortly, but it's also in the top. It's also there. So like if I were looking to see what would happen next, it'd be what's next to it, right? Venus, Alvarado, Mansfield. Mansfield's pretty developed, but the Con Hill. You know what I'm saying? Like these 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 areas will be next, most likely. Because once you start to see major development and major infrastructure by commercial companies, that's when the homes come. That's when everything else comes. And most things stay. Now, I'm not saying that this is, oh, go and invest in Midlothian and go and invest in with Waxahachie. No, it's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying, though, is if you do get into these markets now, most likely you'll be better off 15, 10 10 years from now, just based on where they're at, where they expect to go, and what they're next to, right? If Midlothian grows, as Waxahachie grows, the whole area grows, right? It's not the same, like how Forney, Forney kind of got a real big pop, but then like, what, there's not much next to Forney. As far as size, right? Yes, they have Mesquite, they have Balch Springs, you know, on the other side, they have Ter Terrell, uh, up north of that, they have Heath and Fate around there also. But yeah, doesn't mean go in these areas and and and, and spend overpriced. And I only mentioned Forney because there's just a lot of people selling in Forney who bought 
over overvalued in 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 you know that that area just wasn't an area for them i'm not trying to knock that area what whatsoever but that just gives you indication like okay my area is growing all right so mid midlothian ranked just seven spots behind waxahachie with home values reaching 450,000 in july this far-flung suburbs is 26 miles southeast or southwest of downtown dallas and is the next door neighbor to waxahachie from 2020 to 2022 Midlothian's population grew by nearly 4,000 people to 35,000 people. Total residents. Wow. Locals should expect the number to continue to grow over the next few years, along with the city's home values, as Google invests over $1 billion into a Midlothian data center campus. My point exactly. Who? What company is that? Google. Bro, they went from 4,000 people to 35,000 people in two years. Holy cow. So in a statement, Google Cloud VP, he said the expanding cloud and the data center infrastructure in Midlothian and Red Oak reflects the company's confidence in the state's ability to lead in the digital economy. That's big money telling you, telling you where they're going, right? Now, of course, you know, they speak like politicians, but they're not talking about another place, right? They're talking about here, Midlothian. That's not Dallas. That's not Fort Worth. That cities that are already established. Of course, yes, that city is established. But it, you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. It's gonna. It's very exciting for the people that live in Midlothian. Maybe you have businesses, or maybe you're thinking about moving out there. Well, you're gonna have some infrastructure, right? Now, meanwhile, Wiley, which is gonna be the last one that we speak about today is ranked number 34, rounds out the list of North Texas suburbs with the most affordable housing markets for under 500,000. According to the report, home values in Wiley amounted to 41, 441,000 in July, 2024. Wiley has, the, Wiley has the smallest growth by percentage out of the four DFW cities as just 11% growth, but that resulted in 5,000 new residents moving to the city from 2020 to 2022 bringing the total population to 57,000 residents. In 2022, Fortune Magazine rated Wiley the number two place, the number two best place in Texas for U.S. families to live, hailing the city's fast-growing, modern community that doesn't skip, that, that doesn't skimp on the amenities. With this start as a stop on the Santa Fe Railway in the 1980s, Wiley has been a gathering place, the magazine wrote at this time. In fact, because shops stayed open late to accommodate the railway visitors and businesses, one of the town's nicknames became the Wild Awake Wiley. The historic downtown continues that tradition of community today. So here are some other notable cities that are on this list as well, so you can kind of get the comparison of um, of where they stand as far as the, the higher-ranked cities. So only eight total Texas suburbs earn spots on the Go Ranking or Go Banking rates list of fastest growing suburbs within homes valued under 500,000. Two San Antonio suburbs, Canyon Lake and New Bronzeville, ranked number five and 44 nationwide. Baytown, which is located 26 east of Houston, ranked number 36. The Austin suburbs of Hutto fell towards the bottom of the list at number 42. Makes sense, man. Makes sense. Because there was a lot of quick in, ex, uh, expansion in Austin and people were flooding towards these outer areas, less developed areas. I mean, and honestly, overpaying for homes and when there's just no infrastructure, just no true development, you know, two, three high schools in the area. And yeah, I mean, it's that was tough to see what happened in Austin. That was tough to see. And it was tough to help buyers at that time. Especially if they were like in a specific price pool, like under 600,000. It was like everybody was looking and they were all spending way more than the homes were worth in places that, yeah, just were not worth that. So the top 10 fastest growing American suburbs with home values under 500,000 are, um, I'm going to rank them just uh, from the uh, from the state. So North Carolina is in number four, is in first place. Michigan is in second place. You got Arizona with third. Georgia fourth. Okay, so Canyon Lake is number five, and that's in Texas. We got uh, Mississippi, Arizona again, two Florida, two Florida cities, and another Arizona city. So Arizona, Florida, and 
Yeah, Arizona and Florida, they've got a couple cities in here. I think Florida has. Florida's got two. Arizona has three. So lots of growth happening that way. Lots of growth happening in the Texas uh, DFW Metroplex and outwards. And, and that's what you were going to expect, right? There are many reports that we're just going to start growing rapidly in a massive circle outward um, on this map. So as you see where Dallas is, oh, let me zoom out. If you see where Dallas is, like here's Fort Worth, everything's just going to start expanding outward. Expanding outward. All right, sure, it's going to take a minute, but you're already seeing it, right? You're already seeing, you're already seeing it happen, right? Especially out here in Saginaw, North here, Newark, Rome, Boyd. They're slamming homes out here. Slamming homes out here. Uh, Weatherford, they're going to start filling in these gaps slowly now these are more rural areas so they have more more space more time it's going to be different types of markets but there's just a lot of opportunity out here we just had interest rates drop they are expected to keep going lower so market is exciting inventory is double so there's more options uh, so it really is a good time to be in real estate looking to buy or sell of course it's going to depend on the market you're looking at but if you made it this far i really appreciate you watching okay if you have any questions regarding the uh, Texas real estate market, like I said, in DFW or for, uh, Austin, Texas, uh, feel free to check the description. I'll leave my contact details there. But yeah, this is a quick update on what's going on in our market. If you got any questions later on, don't hesitate to reach out. And I appreciate you. If you uh, have any questions, leave a or like, let me know what you think. So, do you think that some of these cities will should be at this ranked ranked this high? Would you move to some of these cities as someone that's already lived in DFW in a larger city? Would this be a city you would uh, move to to kind of like get out of the city life? Let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you liked what I had to provide and subscribe if you're feeling the vibe. But I will catch you guys next time. Have a great week. Bye.